Hello again. Today I've just put a plastic cover on this little Squire 440 and uh, I haven't put any, any hole in it for the key. Now there's a reason behind that and the reason is I'm going to try to pick this from the hole at the back, not out the front. So I'm doing that and the main reason I'm doing that for is so you can actually see what's going on inside because when you pick it from the front you can't see everything what's happening so i'm going to put it in the voice now and uh, we'll see how we can uh, pick it from that little hole at the back well it's all clamped up in the voice so i'm gonna have a go at picking it now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, put the uh, camera on my phone and video the back as well as the front let's just switch that on there there you go. Yeah, the guy called G Keyman 565, he watched the video of me picking a mortise lock with the bolt on the right side. And what I did is I had the camera dead close so you could see all the levers. Uh, and he mentioned, oh, it would be even better if I could have seen you picking it from the back at the same time. So that's what I'm going to try to do with this, this squad padlock. But obviously, if you're doing that on a mortise lock, you've got you've got the back. You've obviously your key goes in the front or the back. Whereas on a padlock, you ain't got that luxury. So the only way of doing it is to go through this hole at the back. It's almost like doing keyhole surgery. So let's have a go. So I'm hoping you can you can see what I'm doing from the front and the back at the same time. So what we're doing is we're lifting up the levers. Putting your tension on. Just nipping them up. Slowly back to front, front to back. Try to get them to bind up in the right position. Yeah, so thanks for that, G key man. It was a great idea of yours. And uh, if we ever pick another Morty slug, I'll, I'll certainly do it that way. So we're just going through these levers like one by one. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever done this, to be honest. Let me know if they have. I don't want to claim to be the first one to to pick from this hole. I know loads of people use it for the wire, for the uh, for the tension, tensioning, and then they use a key or whatnot to pick from the front. But I don't know if anyone's actually used it to pick out of, so let me know. They probably have. It's like everything, you, know, you think you're the first to do something and you find out about six million people's done it before here. That's what I'm like anyway. I make things and I think it's my invention and I put it I put it on <laughs> and people say, no, nah, that's been out for ages. Anyway, we're still going through these keys. Keys through these levers. I've got keys on my brain here. Oh my, my iPhone's just gone off. Run out of bloody battery. So I'm gonna continue anyway. Sorry about that. There you go, we got it open. Typical, isn't it? The iPhone, the battery went out just as uh, as I opened it. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> anyway, I do apologise about that. Oh, it wasn't a flat battery. It says, iPhone, your storage is full. So as always, thanks for watching. Try a bit.